Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show with you guys how to having multiple charts using the same data set. As you can see in the screen, I have one data set with different number right here and have multiple chart. And when I update the number in the data set, for example, I bumping up this number to say 500, you see that all the charts has been updated as well. Let me do it one more time, bump it to maybe you can see that all the chart updated with the number in the data set. And I understand that there are some people out there having difficulty doing this. They think it's impossible to create multiple chart using the same data set. And I'm going to explain with you guys why that confusion may happen with you as well. And they're even having a question post into the Microsoft tech community to ask about that question. So I think some people may having same issue. Let me show with you guys from beginning. I'm going to copy this data set and moving into a new sheet and paste the data set here. And to create the new charts, what you're gonna do is you go into the menu and go insert. And then down here you having charts. You can select the arrow right here and you having multiple options for the charts. For example, I can select all charts and you having more options. If I select more charts, and select OK. And you can see that the new bar chart has been inserted into this Excel using this data set. Now, if I want to having a second chart, I'm going to repeat the same step, go into insert, select chart. And this time I may select a sunburst and select OK. And you can see that instead of having two charts, it updated to the new chart, cut the overriding the existing one. For example, if I do it one more time to insert the new one, this time I may select a light chart like this, select OK. And you can see that it sounds like you only having one chart at the time. It's overriding the existing one that you have. And I know that is confusing because the way it works is you actually having the new chart created using the same data set, but Excel just put it overlay to the previous chart. And what you're going to do is you just select the chart, the border of the chart right here and just move it around like this. And then this time you can select the data set again and you can select insert, go to the chart, select one more time. And you can having a new chart and you can move it around one more time and then select the data set again and go to the insert and select different type of chart. I can do it even one more time. This time I'm going to select this line. So you can see that by moving the chart around, I can using the same data set to create at least four different charts right now. And when I update the number in the data set, for example, I'm bumping up from 500 to 2000. You can see that the data has been reflected in all of the charts. So they are all linked into the same data set. If I going down to maybe two, you can see that the data has been updated on all charts as well. So that is how you can create multiple charts in Excel using the same data sets. You just need to move the charts around for the first time. And then after that, you can see the new charts showing up because the way it works is Excel plays the new charts overlay with the previous chart. So it seems like you're only having one chart at one time. But by moving it around, you actually can create multiple charts. For example, I having at least four different charts right here, all linked to the same data set as you can see on the screen. I hope this tip help. If you think it's helpful, please like the video, subscribe to my channel to support making the video like this. Thank you. Bye. Nếu các bạn thấy hay, các bạn hãy nhấn nút like, thích và subscribe, đăng ký để ủng hộ Easy Tech Class nha. Cảm ơn các bạn nhiều.